I'm meteorologist Ashley DiMartino out near Roosevelt Lake where SRP is looking at new areas where they can create a new hydropower facility. They're going to tap into some resources they already have to be able to expand their hydroelectricity. Hydropower has been at the root of SRP's resiliency plan for more than 40 years, starting in the early 1900s with the building of Roosevelt Dam. What is hydropower? It's using the exchange of water between two different points that are generally at two different elevations to generate um, electricity and store it at times of need. Currently on the Salt River, SRP has hydropower projects that already exist. Now they want to expand. The new addition would play a key role in providing 10 plus hours of storage and provide electricity to nearly 400,000 homes. Which involves the creation of an upper reservoir. And this upper reservoir would be at a location that's about 1,500 feet higher than in an, an existing reservoir. In this particular case, that's Apache Lake. Those two reservoirs would be connected through a tunneling system which would allow water to be exchanged and generate power into the grid. The new lake would be sized the same as the lake surrounded. It. it would only be you know, upwards to 20,000 acre feet which by comparison, Roosevelt is uh, well over a million acre feet of water. But in a time of drought, where is the water for the new lake coming from? It's just taking uh, the initial inflow to fill that upper reservoir would come from Apache Lake. Still in the planning stages, a lot needs to be done before the new facility would be up and running. This summer, SRP will meet with state and federal officials if all goes well. That a project like this could come online by 2033. With the goal of keeping Arizona's water and energy supply thriving for hundreds of years. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.